All right, so I'm gonna try to explain this. Here's what happened. The short story is that while I was away, 11 people from a group called Rise of the Moors, a right-wing paramilitary group out of Rhode Island, were arrested on 95 over the weekend after an hours-long standoff. They were arrested on weapons charges, and that's all playing out through the courts as we speak. To understand who the Rise of the Moors are, you have to understand two separate American ideologies. The first is the Moorish Science Temple of America, founded, I think, 1913 in New Jersey. The basic tenet of this organization, and many like it, is that all the African Americans that were brought to America as slaves are actually all part of this singular royal family. So therefore, the institution of slavery denied them their rightful place as kings and queens. It is all historical nonsense. The second tenet you have to understand is the sovereign citizens movement that started, I believe, in 1971. This group believes that if you pick and choose certain tenets of American law, either through U.S. treaties, the U.S. Constitution, judges' decisions, you can string together an argument that you are not an actual citizen and therefore do not have to comply to the federal government. And what's hilarious is all that is true. You could pick and choose many different laws and many different court decisions to string together any argument. In fact, that's mostly what the Supreme Court does. However, when our judges do this, they do it to allow existing power dynamics to enrich corporations. They're not going to do it to let you get out of paying taxes. So the two tenants from those different groups have combined to form what looks to be an organization from Rhode Island founded in around 2018 called the Rise of the Moors. They argue that African Americans are not actually American citizens and therefore do not have to follow U.S. law. The most important thing that I want you to take away from this story is that this is really just an offshoot of our national security state. Out of the 11 people arrested, I would be shocked if any less than three of them were actually FBI informants. And really, the purpose of the story is to scare you to continue to justify defense funding. Almost all these organizations are either created by, manipulated by, or created by the conditions from our national security state.